bringing you details tonight about the scope of a potential asbestos exposure at an Austin warehouse fire, putting more than 100 at risk of future health complications. We first told you about the incident earlier this month, but KXAN investigators have now learned officials have been aware of asbestos at the city-owned building for several years. Avery Travis tells us why that information didn't make it to responding fire crews sooner. Fire department, what's the address of the emergency? Hey, we got a we got a fire that looks like it just started on I-35 Frontage Road and Blackson Avenue. Oh, one, it's an abandoned building for sure. Austin firefighters arrived just five minutes after this 911 call. Man, this thing's going quick. But it wasn't until more than an hour later that they learned of a large amount of asbestos in the building and possibly in the smoke swirling around. According to the incident report, that's when extra safety precautions were taken well into the incident. Firefighters, every time they go into a burning building, are exposed to at least 200 or more known carcinogenic chemicals. There's no doubt that firefighting has a risk of cancer. We know that. We accept that. The problem is we don't know when that's going to happen. The national president of the Firefighters Cancer Support Network says he's not surprised all 115 firefighters and civilian employees at the scene of the fire were sent for precautionary chest x-rays and that their gear was sent off to be analyzed and cleaned. At least four firefighters reported continuous coughing the next day. At the time, a spokesperson for AFD said they do their best to warn their crews of any especially hazardous materials located at the site before they arrive if they have permits on file. But because asbestos is more common in older buildings in the city and it's only dangerous when disturbed, she said there was no way to know. Internal city documents obtained by KXAN suggest otherwise. Drywall, floor tile, adhesive, insulation. A survey from 2013 found asbestos in several parts of this city-owned warehouse. The report also calls for its removal if they were to ever renovate the site. And that was the plan for the property after years of being leased out or sitting vacant. So another asbestos survey was conducted in early March of this year. Would it have been good to know? Absolutely. Um, could that have changed the exposure rates, the, the amount of time that the firefighters were inside of the building? Absolutely. Uh, but, you know, there's no perfect system. Frieder says they expect cities and organizations to protect these firefighters who protect everyone else. That's why they're fighting for more long term medical help and benefits in the industry. A lot of retirees, two, three, four, five years after they retire, are being diagnosed. That, that's tragic. I mean, that, that that is just tragic. I get choked up thinking about it. Avery Travis, KXAN Investigates. KXAN investigators pressed the city on why asbestos isn't included in the notification process when fire crews are racing to a scene. We'll let you know when we get a response. We asked what caused the fire. AFD told us its investigation is finished and the cause was undetermined. The city overhauled their asbestos policies back in 2018 in response to a series of KXAN investigations. We uncovered asbestos contaminations in four city departments involving nearly 200 City of Austin employees. Much of that policy had to do with construction and renovation guidelines. You can see that investigation. It's online now at KXAN.com.